Good day. The state television company of Western Armenia represents all the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. An underground tomb has been discovered in the harbour province of Western Armenia, recognized Artsakh, Hartashan village. Against the background of the Ukrainian crisis, Turkey seeks to create a new situation in our region, Ruben Safratian. 34 years ago, on February 27 to 29, pogroms and mass deportation of the Armenian population were organized in Sumgai. Russian peacekeepers are in constant contact with villagers of Hramor and monitor the operational situation. The predecessors of spring strokes have already come to Igdi, Armenian culture in the Ararat Kingdom. In one of the valleys of Harbert region of Agen in western Armenia, ruins of antiquity of 1,800-year-old and Roman area have been discovered. The head of the excavations, Professor Dr. Ismail Aitaj, said that the various structures were discovered in a 4-kilometer-long valley, including a welted building called catacombs, where the dead were buried. Buildings of the early Christian period were also found, where Christians secretly worship as well as gain warehouses dug on a bottom of rocks. According to the professor, the region through which the Euphrates River flows has hosted many communities since the Paleolithic period, traces of settlements dating back to 6000 BC. Hartashen is a village in Hadrut region of the Republic of Artsakh, which is currently but temporarily under the control of armed forces of Azerbaijan. The village is located in the southern eastern part of the Republic. It is 31 km from the capital Stepanakert. The community is low land, has an area of 357 hectares, of which 304 hectares of agricultural land and 3.2 hectares of forest land. The only historical and cultural monument of the community is a cemetery that has existed since the 17th century. According to the latest data, the population of the community was 91 people. There were 31 farms in the village. The population is mainly engaged in agriculture, cattle breeding and farming. There was a rural municipality and medical center in the community. However, students went to Uhtadzor Secondary School. Turkeologist Ruben Safratan touched upon the Russian-Turkish confrontation over influence of South Caucasian against the background of Ukrainian crisis. According to the Turkeologist, Turkey will seek to use the Ukrainian crisis based on its interest already in our region. Safratan is convinced that Turkey, by strengthening its position towards Russia, will try to create a certain new situation in our region and prevent Russians' action. In this case, Turkey uses Azerbaijan as a tool, that is, it will put direct pressure on Azerbaijan to move to a more active stage on proper actions against both Armenia and Russian peacekeepers in Artsakh. The government of Western Armenia recalls that Turkey seeks to revise the treaties reached as a result of First World War, in particular the Treaty of Severs ratified by Turkey. On February 27 to 29, programs and mass deportation of the Armenian population took place in Soviet Azerbaijan, in the city of Sumgait. In this regard, in an interview with Artsakh Press, the chairman of NGO Scientific Center Kachar, Professor Mahir Harutunyan, in particular noted, the analysis of eyewitness testimonies and events lead to the idea that the Sumgait genocide was organized by the authorities of Azerbaijan SSR, whose purpose was to intimidate the Armenians, forcing them to retreat from the National Liberation State struggle of Artsakh. According to some analysts, the genocide of Armenians was planned in Askeran, however, after meeting resistance on February 22, the crowd retreated. Azerbaijan authorities have chosen Sumgait. As you know, Sumgait was built and became the third city of Azerbaijan, with the active participation of Armenians. The genocide in Sumgait was directed against the Armenians of Artsakh and Artsakh, and we will not be mistaken to consider the crimes on February 27-29 to as the beginning of Azerbaijan's aggression against Artsakh. About 18,000 Armenian refugees who escaped from the pogroms found their refuge in Armenian SSR, Nagorno-Karabakh Autonomous Oblast, as well as in other republics of the USSR. The situation is calm in the Artsakh village of Khramort. The village continues to live its daily care. It should be remembered that since February 16, the Azerbaijan site has violated the ceasefire several times on the Khramort Akna section, shooting at a tractor driver working on a plane. Then the next day, the villagers were warned to leave the territory. These unsuccessful attempts were followed by calls on a microphone. Employees of the Askeran Region Police Department of Ministry of Internal Affairs are constantly in touch with the villagers of Khramort and monitor the operation situation. 
in Igdir, in the east of Western Armenia, where the winter is harsh, the temperature has risen to 20 degrees. Igdir, being on a migration path of birds and hosting many species of birds, has been received the first storks this year, which come in parallel with the warning of weather. They have already started knitting their nests. The presence of storks announcing the coming of spring pleased the residents of the surrounding settlements. Armenian culture was formed during the period of tribal unions and state formation. A lot of ancient settlements have been discovered on the territory of Western Armenia, where weapons, tools, household items and jewelry findings testify the ancient and high cultural development. In the formation and development of the ancient Armenian culture, the Van Kingdom played its great role. Vivid examples of Urartian culture are fragments of royal bronze throne, which are kept partially in British Museum, partially in the Hermitage. On the walls of Urartian architectural buildings, there are traces of painting with widespread bright shades. During the excavation, a large number of gold and silver jewelry was discovered. Now the musical part, Armenian folk song, Zeray Sparam. <laughs> The full version of this video is available on Western Armenia's YouTube channel. This was all for today. Goodbye.